Hello, this is the Train Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Friday, the 17th of July, 2020. We don't typically do market previews for Friday. We don't typically do market previews for options expiration. However, uh, due to some issues, especially an internet outage last night, I could not do market previews last two nights. So let's at least talk about where we're at going into Friday. It's been an incredibly horrible two days. Thursday in particular, one of the worst days we've seen in the markets for a long time. It's just disappointing to see, disappointing to watch, not sure what's going on from that perspective. Now, obviously, we could be waiting for earnings and all these other things, but all right, here's the EMA, ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. There's a 13 sell signal in place. You can see the risk line, but we've been dead flat for three days. Okay, let's go through the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intraday action. Crude oil has been very flat at 40 80 right now, gold down $2.30, no big deal. S&P cash lost 11 points under the, look at the 13 sell signal on the risk line there. We bounced under it twice. Uh, NASDAQ 100 down 75 points and then slipped more on Netflix post-market uh, numbers. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the stocks down 8.25, which is minor. Biotech's down 38.28, which is minor. Russell 2000 down 10. Uh, there's not, yeah, no, there is. There's a 13 sell signal now on the Russell 2000 small cap index. Interesting. VIX gains 24 cents to $28. Hasn't done much in a while. The trend closes at 1.38. NASDAQ volume 4.2 billion shares, which is still lighter than we've seen lately. Advanced decline ratio, the NASDAQ negative 587, so more stocks were down than up. Negative 213 on the New York. Google loses a dollar. 96, Apple down $4.81, Netflix up $4.13, but again, missed earnings. If we look at the uh, five-minute chart in a minute, I'll show you after hours. And we'll see uh, Amazon down $8.97. Look how that 13 sell signal worked so well on Amazon. I mean, that risk line's up there around 33.25, and it's dropped uh, 300 points since it hit that. Tesla down $45.37. Tesla obviously looks... Not great. It's got a nine bar startup face to the upside. The target is the red line below, just around 980. That would be the uh, current target on Tesla. Facebook gains 65 cents, but still under the 13 sell signal. Goldman Sachs down $2.23. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, gains 79 cents, which is a blip. The Dow is down a little bit. All right, so let's go to the intraday action. Uh, now, this is the problem. Look at, so if you look at Wednesday, which we didn't have a market preview, gapped up. It, at best, you could say that downward move after the first hour. If that was options unraveling for the week, because volume did kind of hold up in that one, that's it. That wasn't that exciting. We slipped for like an hour and a half and clawed back our way back up a bit and closed right where we opened. So it wasn't a very exciting day. Having said that, today, Thursday, was just literally horrible. I mean, we traded about 15% of average daily range. Gapped down and... Uh, gapped down and... Uh, went dead flat the entire day. I mean, there's just such a narrow range. We tried to reach up to highs right before the close, and then it didn't matter because, like I said, Netflix then uh, missed. So if we look at Netflix and we go into the 24-hour chart here, just so you can see. Uh, oops, sorry. I think I just did that wrong. Yeah, I did. Uh, sorry. 24-hour chart, and just so you can see. Just so you can see. Just so you can see. Let me do this. Right there it is. Now you can see it. Um, there's the after hours trading, boom, down as low as 450, closing currently at 480, but it closed the regular session up at 530. So big drop after the miss on uh, Netflix, and that's the first of the major earnings. Kind of surprising to see Netflix miss so badly. You'd think that's the one stock everybody would be uh, all over right now. But anyways, uh, in terms of data on friday besides the fact that we have options expiration we have housing starts and building permits now before the bell preliminary university of michigan sentiment 30 minutes into the market and that's it so we'll just call we'll just do what we can tomorrow for options expiration i wouldn't expect a much and then remember next week is the big week of earnings most of the stocks report tuesday wednesday thursday it's super heavy and uh so we're going to see a lot of gaps and stuff like that based on earnings and pay attention to that guidance because that's going to matter more than anything, charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Friday.